Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we move back to present-day Kidder County, North Dakota, in what was called the Dakota Territories for the Battle of Dead Buffalo Lake on July 26, 1863. Once again, the attacking force was commanded by Union Brigadier General Henry Hastings Sibley with more than 2,000 Union soldiers along with his Native American scouts, including members of the Sioux Tribe, and 100 artillery pieces all part of the first Minnesota Mounted Rangers. Defending again was War Chief Red Cap, and he was supported by more Blackfoot Lakota Teton warriors, which included a future star of things you should know, a warrior named Sitting Bull, who had become famous for his resistance against U.S. policy governing Native tribes. According to his descendants, Sitting Bull was born on the Yellowstone River and named Jumping Badger at his birth, and nicknamed Slow to describe his careful and unhurried nature. Under their command were approximately 1,600 warriors from the various Dakota Sioux tribes and Blackfoot allies. Today's victory went to the Union. General Sibley, who had realized he was sent incorrect orders after the attack on Big Mound, had returned to search in for the Santee warriors. He arrived at Buffalo Lake on July 26 and around noon made camp. Not long after their arrival, Mounted Sioux appeared surrounding the lake and threatening to attack. In response, Sibley called up his artillery and two companies of infantry and positioned them about 600 yards from his camp and opened fire on the Sioux. The Sioux immediately withdrew out of range of the artillery. The Sioux a little later made an attempt on the Army's packed train of horses and mules in what appeared to be an attempt to stop Sibley's ability to transport supplies while he followed them. A company of Union Mounted Rangers and two companies of foot infantry pushed the Sioux back fairly easily. The Sioux retreated back into the hills and the muleteers, the men responsible for watching over the mules of the supply wagon, assumed the Sioux were done and not returning and started grazing the mules outside of the camp's defense lines. They were wrong. So, so wrong. The Sioux appeared with a larger force on the right flank and made another attempt to take the mules. The fighting was harder and in close quarters, but the Sioux were repulsed again by the two companies of cavalry and six companies of infantry. That being said, it was reported that Sitting Bull, armed with only a whip, counted coup on a mule tier and captured his mule. The Sioux then broke off and the battle ended, with one Union soldier killed and between 1 to 15 Sioux dead, but with no exact confirmation on which number. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.